Very cool. In fact, I'll go into... Uh... Just go into debug camera mode here. Let's see how awesome this looks. <laughs> And obviously they added this debug camera so that you could uh, take really cool screenshots. You probably noticed the, the thumbnails they have are all like this. Um, but yeah, very handy feature. Alright. Let's make sure we're aimed correctly. Frame shift drive charging. Ready to engage. Okay, that's, this is the detailed surface scanner kicking in here. Um, and I don't know why, but it kicks in at different distances for different types of planets. I'm not sure what governs that exactly yet. And by the way, that white dot at the top of my uh, screen, that's just a glitch uh, in the game. You know, it's not an alien or anything following me. Do another advanced scan just in case I missed something. No, I did not. Alright, there's Mintaka B. Our destination. And when you first approach these things, um, I don't know, this is this is these are just my thoughts. I don't know if um, these black holes can actually kill you. Um, I'll show you here in a second something peculiar about this one. And I don't know if it holds true for all of them. Obviously, in real life, yes, black holes would kill you, but... <laughs> for the sake of making an enjoyable game, I guess they've uh, changed some of the rules. I don't know. Or there might actually be, you know, as uh, scientifically based as this game is, there might actually be a reason why this one acts the way it does. I don't know. <clears throat> Alright, what you want to do here... You want the, uh, the black hole to be set against a backdrop of... stars or a nebula or something something with some detail that um, where you can see the effect all right so uh, hang tight everybody And so here's here's one of the first things you'll notice about a uh, black hole if you find one uh, your sensors are, are going to pick up <laughs> at least at least for this one again I don't know if others are different 
Um, but you notice how it's a, a perfect sphere with no details on it at all whatsoever on the heads up display. So that was the first odd thing I noticed about it when I selected it. And it uh, kinda kinda creeped me out to be honest with you. <clears throat> But approaching these things is kind of like uh, when you first come out of hyperspace in this game and you notice that your ship is drifting towards the star. Um, it freaks you out a bit. <laughs> and just approaching these things. Uh, here we go. This will be good. Just approaching these things is... Uh, Kind of creepy. Are you starting to notice some uh, distortion here? Yep. And that's the gravitational lensing picking up the light from behind the black hole and bending it around it. You see those little uh, white flecks that are moving across the, uh, the reticle? Except for that glitch, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, and those tiny white specks that are moving across it. Um, those are that's light from other stars. I'm gonna go ahead and slow down here. This is oh, this. Start freaking me out. did this the other day with a buddy of mine and that uh, freaked me out then um, but uh, we learned a couple things about this particular black hole and um, but it's still <laughs> it's still just eerie you know seeing the effect it has on the light behind it stars there. Creepy! Alright, we are just going to go for gold here. Get right up on this thing. Pucker up, folks. It's going to get weird. Oh crap. Alright, so it says I was too close. Um, I don't know why we didn't get a distance meter there. Um, okay, so yeah, that freaks you out when you 
drop in next to one of these things. So yeah, this is uh, this is our black hole. This is Mintaka B. some point here it should tell me that we've there we go body exclusion zone hit now what that is based on what I read is uh, your ship's computer is uh, basically telling you that you are in a, the zone right before things get dangerous um, this being elite dangerous and um, the thing is kind of weird is that uh, I don't know if it's just this black hole or all of them, but you can't go past the body exclusion zone. So, um, so. Now, have you noticed? You see that? <laughs> That's the uh, exhaust from my engines being drawn into the black hole there. But, and what that means is that I'm at the body exclusion zone and it's, I'm just being held there. I don't know if it's the ship that's holding me there or what. I think, I think it is. So, yeah. If, um, if there were a lot more gas uh, in this black hole, maybe it would be hotter. And uh, I don't know. So yeah, all right, now let's go ahead and make our way out. And usually what I do, just in case, I get go ahead and get my heat sinks ready. Let's see. All right, there we go. And I'll try to flip 180 degrees away from this thing. is 180 degrees. All right. Engage our frame shift drive. Frame Set up the heat sink. Exiting the influence of the black hole here, so things are getting weird again as we exit. That's the light from everything behind the black hole being projected in front of us. <laughs> weird stuff. Alright guys, so that does it for this visit to uh, Black Hole in Elite Dangerous. And uh, I'll end up visiting others, uh, no doubt. Um, you can easily look up a list of them if you want to go visit some yourself. Um, uh, so, uh, we'll see. Catch you guys in the next video. Later.